Hello everyone, Aether here. Today we're going to be looking at how to farm gold in Atal Bazaar. This is the first video in my gold making series where I've challenged myself to earn 5 million gold before Shadowlands so that I can purchase the Longboy mount. I have approximately 440 eye level, but you could easily do this with lower. You need to have BFA skinning unlocked, but it doesn't need to be leveled and your character or alt needs to have leather working. I will show you all pullable mobs, but depending on your class and gear, it's advisable to create your own routes. It's possible to make somewhere between 10 and 15k an hour from vendoring the items that we make, as well as any of the items that we find. Without further ado, let's get on to the run. So as we come down the steps, what we're aiming for are the dinosaurs essentially as they are the only mobs that can be skinned so we'll take this pack and this pack and we can run up here bring these to the sky screamer now you want to make sure that you interrupt the scream <laughs> That will give you a bad time. There's a long fear if you let that go off. What's quite cool as well is often the little dinosaurs will actually die in the same spot. It doesn't always happen as you can see. There's a couple to the left and right of me now. But predominantly most of them will, will uh, die on the same spot. Which makes skinning super easy. Because it's in one place. Again, I'm in this run, it's not going to be super efficient and fast. It's more just to kind of show what needs to be done. Cool. Um, before we head off as well, there are two Sky Screamers here. Depending on your class uh, and gear, you could pull those as well as these down here into this pack. Um, or even all the way around. We'll get to that in a minute and kill those but obviously you need to be able to interrupt multiple uh fears so we got the double interrupt there the ams for this one So there is to it. For my super speedy runs, if I want to be super efficient, uh, I usually don't take those. I'll uh, I'll literally just take these down here and run all the way up. Okay, next up, we'll run past the sky screamer that's up here, and it will body aggro. We'll pull it into this one. And then as you can see, I was too slow on that. <laughs> and then you get feared. But when I'm fully in the zone, I, I don't get hit. But at least that's a good way of showing you that if you do take one fear, it's really not the end of the world. Um, I have tested this with taking multiple fears in a row. And... Uh, if you have corruption, high corruption, like me, uh, it can be a bad time. Okay, on to the next side. We can pull these over here. And I got a lovely corruption. Obviously advisable not to have corruption that high. <laughs> And there you have it. Um, you don't need to pull both of these as as a wanna, just like the other side. It's obviously gear and class dependent. And there's not much in it. I've tested doing each um, each pack solo, and I've tested doing the bigger pulls. 
and there really isn't much between them to be honest so don't don't feel like you have to do some crazy mythic plus pulls to be efficient it's it's really not not the case at all um and also after you've done these a few times you know you kind of want to chill out a bit you don't want to be having to concentrate so so often just for the sake of the video um i'll show the middle pull which i don't particularly recommend but just for the sake of showing that it is possible um but it doesn't take too long i guess again uh garrett class dependent but if you were planning on farming this place for a considerable amount of time um, and you didn't want to hit the instance lockout then perhaps taking this middle pack is worth your time because you don't want to you don't want to leave or do anything else okay uh, now that we have all the materials from lots and lots of farming let's pretend we go to professions we open leather working and I've favorited it. It's the Shimmer Scale Striker, which uses Shimmer Scales and Bloodstained Bones. Both of these materials are farmed in this instance, which is ideal, rather than the Cestus, which is a popular uh, vendor item, which uses uh, coarse leather and bones. Um, leather farms are highly contested on most realms by moonkins and and hunters and stuff so from a pure farm efficiency um i usually don't go for leather to be honest obviously other servers could vary significantly and the shimmer scale striker vendors for 56 gold as does the cestus even though statistically this is a better value for money slightly uh as i said before the, the leather is is a lot harder to farm in in most places without competition so all we do is we create these and what's really nice is you can obviously proc a higher eye level one which is then worth an extra 11, well, 10 and a bit gold. Which is fantastic. Cool. Now that all those are done. Obviously, you'd have this more accessible. But. I got the anywhere. All you then do is vend them. I'm also going to vend these greens that I picked up. I've tried to auction them, um, but 9 times out of 10, it doesn't really matter where you put them, uh, they don't sell too too easily. And that's all there is to it. I've done it quite a lot, and I am able to get 10k without too difficulty. Sometimes I can get up to 15k an hour, which is sweet. Uh, and the good thing about this place is, if you do manage to get your instance lockout really quick because it is possible to do under three minute runs depending on on your pulls you can leave the instance go east a little bit and there are loads of gorillas i believe that you can um farm up for coarse leather so you can quite easily sustain yourself in this area of world of warcraft for well forever to be honest Hopefully this video has been useful to someone. I know this this spot is not a uh, secret by any means. And if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing, reference World of Warcraft or Farming Gold, please feel free to follow me on Twitch at Aetherflask. And let me know how your gold farm's getting on. I'd love to hear how much you've amassed. If you've got any other great gold farming spots that you'd like to discuss, I'm all ears. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day.